and how we could really improve works that were written by George Eliot, to be precise. An author whose novels are great, nice, but by George, there's been stagnation. Let's lighten them up for a generation. And with these new creations, we shall cause a real sensation. Let's take the tale of Silas Marner, the lonely weaver who waits for Carmen. Got the theft of gold, not once but twice. Let's turn it into an exciting heist. The Ocean's Eleven means the Italian when church is not casinos, fit to be robbed. Then drive to Warwickshire in horse drawn minis. And count your glittering pot of guineas by George Eliot, to be precise. An author whose novels are great, nice, but by George, there's in stagnation. Let's liven them up for a generation. Critics adore them, mill on the floss, but the Kindle crowd will be at a loss. The romantic intrigues of idealist Maggie, which are no rumpy pumpy, and a frankly baggy. Get some hot gypsies and make it fiery. Less walks in the wood, more Bridget Jones diary. How all dying at the end is tragic, so let's let one live. To be more like Titanic by George Eliot, to be precise. An author whose novels are great, nice book by George. There's been stagnation, let's liven them up for a generation. Just isn't worth it. The finest novel in English prose. Well, so says Martin Amis. He usually knows. But it's a sad and impenetrable piece of art. I mean, pick a main character for a start. No one wants psychological insight. They want moody vampires like in Twilight by George Eliot, to be precise. An author whose novels are great. Nice book by George. There's Stagnation, let's lighten them up for a generation by George Eliot, to be precise. An author whose novels are great, nice book by George. There's been stagnation, let's lighten them up for a generation. George. 